Oh, man, this is hilarious um, what I'm about to show you guys. But it does reiterate, and you can go watch that last video that I did on this particular subject when I talked about the virtue signaling among the metalcore and hardcore community. And I mentioned how throughout all of this, no publication um, that had covered us before, none of the artists that have toured with us know who we were had ever reached out to us asking for our particular position um, or anything like that. And I'm one of the few guys who had saw success within the middle court, uh, black guys, right? The black fronted guy, a band um, that saw success in two different bands, right? Within their scene. And none of them had ever reached out to me. It wasn't until I did an op-ed on, on, on a loud wire, but that was in response, right? Because I quote tweeted loud wire, similar to what I do with alternative press saying that y'all have covered us before. I'd love to give you my thoughts because they shared some op-ed by way of uh, the guy from Event Sevenfold, right? So they get all these white guys and uh, uh, corny dudes and the dudes they do speak to that on the uh, that are black are like, you know, woe is me, it's so hard to be, but you know, those, those types. Never once have they reached out to me. Um, and all this does is reiterate the point in that regard. So I see this. It's, it's alternative press of all people. So you think it'd be pretty, pretty freaking obvious, right? Because um, they really exist within a metalcore and hardcore scene as far as the type of music that they, they cover the scene, right? And they shared this article and somebody brought it to my attention. And I was like, it says 20 black musicians throwing down in hardcore and metalcore. I was like, yeah, there's no way that they don't mention us in some capacity or me. Not once was I brought up. They, in fact, brought up smaller bands, bands that we influenced. That they they brought up smaller bands, bands that we've outsold out. And you know, our fan base is bigger, more supportive. We have more viewership then, and they covered all of them. And they didn't even they went as far as to cover my last band, Fire from the Gods, who's still going. And this is no disrespect to them because they all know it. They'll admit it. I laid the blueprint for this band, right? Like they, I left obviously when it, uh, and, and formed backwards. However, the the current vocalist wasn't doing none of that type of shit until I had left the blueprint. That's why the first song that they released was my song that they, that they attempted to release was just the newer vocalist re-recording my part because they clearly wanted to go the direction where they had metalcore elements, but they mixed up the rap stuff. That was me. I added that to the band. The band before I joined, believe it or not, I was not the first vocalist of Fire From The Gods. It was a deathcore band before I joined. I was the one that came in, started singing, and then started doing other other elements like the rap stuff. If you go hear that, uh, that song, The Capitalist, that was the first song in which I did it. And they went as far as to mention them, which I'm like, all right, okay, cool. And they didn't mention us. Now, look, I've said time and time and time again, this has everything to do with our politics. And for hold on. And for, and for anybody that wanted to say, well, they don't know who you are. Bogus. They've covered us multiple times. Alternative press. When we first were taken off, which is about around this time, uh, 2017, when we first took off. All of them had covered us. I think we've been covered by Loudwire. We've been covered by Alternative Press. We've been covered by all of these different metal injection. We've been covered by different different uh, elements. This is not a secret. Like they knew exactly who we were. And particularly in this regard, Alternative Press knew exactly who we were. Now, Backwards started to see pushback in this black, I don't want to say blacklisting. That's maybe not the proper word, but I'm not going to put anybody on blast. But there's a big tour that goes around every year, may still exist, may still not, that we specifically didn't get on, um, that we were all in the talks on until the, until one of the founders, if you will, found out what my position was on Planned Parenthood. And then he then 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 it was like they 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 weren't interested anymore. I'm not gonna go into too much detail uh on that. Use your contest clues. But it was all good when they just thought we were a political band until they found out that our political our politics were like, what? And then it was different, right? They knew we were because we, yeah, we were on the scene. And it's funny because when all this stuff popped off, right, this whole everybody's now wanting to signal. Everybody wants to lift up black voices. Everybody wanted to get their perspective. You would have thought I would have been the first one by this entire scene that people reached out for, too, namely because we had done the politics long before, before this deal that went down, which is why our songs are still relevant. But not only that, I'm the one guy that's actual political commentator outside of the band. 
None of these other guys, they may say a thing or two, but I'm the one that's actually going network to network, actually having these sorts of conversations. That's me. That's what I do. So you think I'd be, because I do it in my in my personal life, as well as add that element to the band, you think they'd be all over. Nope. Never once had they reached out to us. This whole ordeal popped off and not, not one of the ma- those major sort of publications in, in, in our scene had ever reached out to us, ever. It wasn't until I quote to it loud while when they reached out to us, and I appreciate them, that they published that op-ed, which you can go see over at Loudwire. I spent a lot of time on it. I spent a full day on that op-ed. And I appreciate them. They were at least man enough to reach back out once I did. And it's like, all right, let's, let's, hear, let's hear what he got to say. But there's been no initiation, either that or before. No initiation where they ever said, hey, we like your perspective. But they have no issues mentioning all of these other guys. And I'm pretty sure they got the perspective of watching some black, some forum with a bunch of black dudes, half a couple of them half black at that. A guy's in our scene talking about punk and metal and racism and stuff like that. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, man. Uh, and I, look, I'm not even complaining in the fact that they didn't do it because they, they that's their right. They don't have to pub, publicly do this. They don't have to do any of that. What I'm saying is I'm pointing to the pr- particular point that I made in that video, when I talked about the virtue, it's not about lifting black voices. It's not about perspectives of black folks or anything like that. It's specifically about a given narrative that they want to drive home. And if you fit that, if I was a war, they'd be all over me. If I was a war is me, typical leftism type of dude, they would have been all over that. All of these guys would have been all over, but they never get, they never were all of it. They cover uh, Fever 333. No, again, Jason Bullo, who I think is a phenomenal vocalist, um, they get he they drop a supremacy song. They're all over that and and and, and all and that, that's that's all fine and dandy. All I'm saying is our our, our song has more views than theirs do does on uh on YouTube. So the our new one and it came out after. That's all I'm saying. It's just, and that's no disrespect to any of those guys. All I'm saying is it's a politic thing, and we can't sit up here and pretend that it's not. That's how the industry is. That's how the industry is. I've been told, like, go look at my loud wire deal. And even in my video, when I talk about how they that thread that I got included in of all these black vocalists, and it wasn't until they got to me where there was dudes in the comments like his his take them off the list because his views are dangerous. Because I'm not a, I'm a I'm an ANCAP. I'm not a freaking leftist. It's the right to do. I'm just pointing that out. Like it's an it's about echo chambers. It's about a particular given narrative, and I'm a complete threat to that. And they, if they don't want to acknowledge me, that's fine. I, I love. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out my new song, The Great Equalizer. It's not live on pretty much all major digital platforms except Apple. They're lagging right now, but you can go listen to it if you want to. I'll put it in the link in the description, or more so in the um, the pinned comment. As I am this whole entire week since the single just came out, but this is the type of unorthodox stuff that we have to do. And thankfully, I have a following. Thankfully, you guys are, are, are huge time supporters because that's the type of route that we have. We've always definitely post post self ownership. Um, we've had to go that route to get our music uh, around um, because our politics are very unorthodox here, and they're they'll probably admit or won't admit that that's the case. These guys within the scene. But they, we know what time it is. And that's fine. But I'm still going to be around. I'm still going to be talking uh, what it is. They have absolutely every right to not include me. But anybody that, when they go, I just want everybody to take it. Whatever they say with a grain of salt. When they go and they do all this signaling, they get these corny little little band dudes to, to, to cover their perspective on what they're doing, to lift up black lives and all of this other stuff and voices and stuff. Just take that with a grain of salt because that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It has everything to do with a particular politic, a particular narrative that they want to perpetuate. And if you fit that ilk, then they'll, they'll be all over you. If you don't, and specifically if you go against it, they see you as a threat. And that's fine with me. That's perfectly fine with me. I'm, um, I'm, it's all good to me. That's all good. It's not anything that I'm going to lose sleep over, but it is a hilarious thing to point out and then see all these guys be like, oh, Black Lives Matter. Everybody's signaling, donating merch, merchandise money to the ineffective loser um, entities and organizations um, who have... <laughs> It's hilarious to me. But yeah, so uh new single is out though. The great the great um 
Ain't that something? Um, but new single is out. So uh, the great uh, Equalizer, if you want to go check that out, it's live on all major digital platforms. Except Apple. They need to get 